James. James, I got a press conference, okay? What? What do you mean, man? Excuse me, excuse me, Governor James. Look, I'm doing everything I can to catch these predators, okay? And, quite, and I think you know that. Governor, okay? But I'm going to tell you something. No, no, no. This is my city, okay? And quite frankly, I want to find who thinks I can get away with this in my city, okay? More than you, more than any other governor, more than the senators. This is my city. I don't really care. Look, bro, I don't, governor, excuse me, sorry, okay. Uh, uh, I don't really care too much about my job, all right? What I care about is the citizens of this, of this beautiful city and protecting them. I'm here for the citizens, and quite frankly, I, you know, I don't really even care what you do as far as my job, all right? I don't care. I don't care. I'll go rogue. This is my city, and I'm going to find out who did this. Do you understand me? No. I didn't say two, three days, as long as it takes, but trust me, they are going down. I'm going to tell you something else. When they get apprehended, and you're not going to hear of this. They're going to come to me first. But right, but right now, I got a press conference. We will talk about this later. But we're not done here, man. Okay? Get, I, James, I got to go. No. I got to go. I got a press conference. you were like in Santa Clara playing tennis. I decided to take a break. Of course, of course I can never stress, right? Breaks are good, tennis is good. How you been doing otherwise? You tell me. I heard what's been going on and your face is all over the news. I thought you might need some support. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's been a bit stressful, you know? I can tell you that, you know? Like, more than stressful. A little bit of a nightmare. You know, but your mom, she would have told me to, uh, I don't know. You know, your mom was great. Your mom was beautiful. If your mom was here, like, none of the stress would be happening. I'm not saying that she would solve the murders, but definitely I'd be a different person, you know? I've got murders going on, I've got missing people. I don't have the love of my life anymore. You're like all I got. You know, things would be so much better with her if your mother were here, you know? But I mean, I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? I've got the governor. This is like the wicked witch of the West on my ass all the time, you know? Your mother would have told me to like, take it easy. Thomas, you know, just chill. Yeah, you know. Uh, by the way, hey, listen, uh, I gotta go. So, make yourself at home. You can stay here, you can leave, you can order pizza. Could you have them bring me a salad? A salad, yeah. Uh, <laughs> salad, okay. It's like an appetizer, but salad it is. I thought you were joking about that salad stuff. Well, I wasn't. Besides, it's good for you. I told you I'm fine. You're beginning to sound just like your mother right now. You know, we never really talked about it. Like, uh, you know, we never really talked about it. You know, like, uh, your mom passing. Your, your mom passing, you know? I'm okay, Dad. There's times where I miss her more than others, but I'm taking it day by day. I'm so proud of you. You're so mature for your age. You know, some kids, like, they drink, they smoke. 
punks like they do drugs, you know? But you thrive, like every day you thrive. Well, that's because she wouldn't want me to be doing any of those things. And besides, I'm not a kid. I got some things I gotta tell you. Like I've got some demons in my closet. Excuse me, like, how shall I say? No, like, demons I gotta conquer. Conquer, you know, like, things I'm not proud of. Come on, Dad. It was the 70s. Everybody was doing it. No, Anne, like, I was a different person back then. Like, I had so much hate bottled up inside of me. Look, I had... Hold on, look, it's my coach. Look, I, had... I gotta take this. All right, Dad. What was it you were saying? Nothing. Nothing. Just, like, try and be better than me, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Of course, Dad. But you know, being a police commissioner is a pretty high standard. <laughs> Do you still plan on running for mayor? Detective, good to finally meet you. Likewise, Commissioner. I apologize about that phone call earlier. You know, I figured it was just a, another telemarketer. It's quite all right, Detective. Telemarketers in the city suck. Let me show you around this place a little bit. Come on in, man. So I understand you've made quite an name for yourself, Detective. Yes, and quite frankly, I have full confidence that you're an excellent detective. Okay? Thank you. But we got a real situation here. In case you haven't noticed, okay? This widespread thing, this insanely large amount of missing persons cases, it's becoming a real problem, man. Okay. okay? And quite frankly, I want a fighter who thinks they can get away with this in my town. Okay? Okay. And this is your chance to shine. This is your chance to make everybody in the city, including me, proud of you. Okay? okay. It's your chance to become a hero, pal. Okay? Sir, I appreciate your offer, but. I work kind of different here. I don't know if I'm going to fit in with everybody. What do you mean you work different? We celebrate differences here, man. And that's exactly why I picked you for the situation, okay? So, the fact that you're different is actually a good thing, okay? And that's why it's just going to be the two of you, okay? Two of us? Yes. As of now, you and FBI Special Agent Lennon are going to be the only two people on this case. It's a real hot shot out of Quantico. But I also want to let the feds know that they're working in my city, okay? FBI? That's right. You and FBI Special Agent Lennon. Like I said before. And I want to let you know something, okay? When you catch them, I want you to bring them to me before you bring them to the precinct, okay? Yes, sir. We got a great city here. And you know what? I don't really care too much about my job, okay? My situation is... I'm concerned about the citizens of this city. Okay, come with me this way, okay? Yeah. This is, uh, well, actually, this is like, for lack of a better word, an investment of mine that went to shit, okay? But you got everything you need here. You got all kinds of office space. If you need to pull in an extra agent for anything like that, you got offices to pull them in. Uh, paperwork, any office you want for paperwork. We got a little, uh, Artillery room down the hall. I'll let you know about that one later. Oh. And, uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Uh, I'll just say. Okay, I gotta go. Alright. And, um, let me tell you something, man. Oh, hold on a second. I got something for you. For me? And I'm damn proud to give it to you. Hey, I appreciate that, Commissioner. Okay. Thank you. You're the man, okay? Uh, so, like I was saying before, this is your time to shine bright, okay? This is your time to become a hero, okay? I'm gonna be proud of you, and the citizens of the city are gonna be proud of you. So put it together, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Okay, uh... Yes, sir, thank you. See ya.